bonjour. Hopefully this is working. Um, so like I said, we will start every lesson with our prayer so that you're still practicing. So au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. Au nom Jésus, pardonne-nous nos péchés, préserve-nous du feu de l'enfer, et conduis au ciel toutes les petites âmes, surtout celles qui ont le plus besoin de ta miséricorde. Amen. Nam du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Ok, donc les objectifs pour aujourd'hui. I can recognize and understand the meaning of the simple future tense while reading in French. So this is actually the tense that you're going to learn next year with Madame Mills in French 4. However, it is used often in Sirhano, and so I just want you to know what it means when you see it. I don't want you to be an expert on um, forming it or speaking in it or anything like that. I just want you um, to be able to recognize it so you know what it means when you see it in Sirhano. So let us start with the future. I will say that, pardon any other noises you might hear, or if you hear my dogs, they're sleeping still. Um, but they do like to bark at people walking by and squirrels, so we never know. Okay, so this uh, is the first set of notes on your packet that I gave you in class uh, last time I saw you on Friday. So this is the very first sheet. So la formation pour les verbes réguliers. So these are the endings, the terminaison. I already did the je for you, you add ai. Avec tu, ajoutez as. Il singulier, a. Nous, ons, vous, oz. Et il est au pluriel, ont. So make sure to fill those out on your notes, please. Et en anglais, ça veut dire will. I will eat, I will be jumping will jump, will be, will go. So the future tense that we already know is how to say we are going to do something. Je vais parler. And remember that was the near future, so something you're going to do relatively soon. This future tense that we're looking at today could be for you are going to do, uh, you will do this in five years. So it's if we would say will. So for example, il finira, he will finish, nous regarderons, we will watch. So if you notice, and on your notes it says this, you take the infinitive, the unconjugated verb, just like you do in the conditional, and you don't change it at all. And then you add your new ending. So it's the same formation as the conditional, but different endings, thankfully. Otherwise, that would obviously be confusing, but they are very similar. So for parler, je parlerai, tu parlera, il parlera, nous parlerons, vous parlerez, il parlera. So some of those are really similar to the conditional because I would talk is je parlerai avec an S and I will talk is je parlerai sans S. So we have to make sure that we know the context uh, really in general that we are expressing. Also with nous and vous, nous parlerons, vous parlerez. Remember in the conditional, those have eyes. So nous parlerions, vous parleriez is the conditional. So we want to make sure that we're pronouncing things correctly. A lazy irregular. So luckily, these are the same irregular stems as the conditional. So whenever there was an irregular stem in the conditional, it's the same as the future. And I did tell you that when we were learning. Um, that as well. So for irregulars, you use the irregular stem plus the ending instead of using the infinitive. And that is what you have your list on um, here on your notes. So make sure to fill these out, please. I don't know if I need to give you time to do this or if you can just pause the PowerPoint. Let me know how it goes. Okay. But etra, uh, Avoir, these are all the same that we saw in the conditional remember. So yes, some of them are really pronounced uh, similarly. Je serai, I would be. Je serai, I will be. They are pronounced exactly the same. They're spelled differently. Um, that's a problem with je, not really with tu or nouveau. Je is really the one that's confusing, so we just have to remember context of what we're talking about. Okay. Um, but this side here 
are the um, original or the irregular stems. So this is what you want to write in your notes. And then the other column there, conjugate avec je, is what you write. The side is what you write there. So here's the other side. Je dirai, je prendrai, je viendrai, j'irai, je verrai, je courrai, je mourrai, je recevrai. They look kind of incomplete, but they're not. Okay, A. Prenez la page. These are the end of your irregulars. Okay. So let's try some on our own. Excuse me, you're moving those things. So je et finir should be je finir. Hey, if we were doing this in real life, uh, I would have you, I wouldn't show you the answer yet, but just try them on your own. So tu attendra, tu attendra, il est maigrir, il maigrira, he will lose weight. Elle mange, elle mangera, she will eat. Nous choisir, nous choisirons. Vous dessinerez. You grossirons. Tu aura, you will have. Vous serez, you will be. Elle devront. They will have to do, essentially. Je saurai, I will know. Il viendra. Les amis voudront. Okay, so pratique lecture. This is what's on your other side of your note sheet. Lisez les paragraphes et trouvez les phrases. So you have two paragraphs on the top there. Um, I want you to read both of them. What do they mean? What's happening? What are these people talking about? They will do. And then please find the Phrases that are in English on the bottom of that page. Find the French equivalent. Uh, and then we don't have practice for euros. Let's go over these answers quickly. I'm sorry I don't have them already, but I can type them as I'm recording. So it will be cool. Ce sera super. I will go to the city. J'irai en ville. I will do my homework. Je ferai mes devoirs. I will listen to music. J'écouterai. I'm on my tablet, so the uh, accents don't always want to work. You know where the accent goes. Uh, is it de la musique? I don't see this one. Oh, wait. De la musique. I will play. Je jouerai. I will stay home. Je resterai. À la maison, add your accents. I will swim, je nagerai. I will watch, je regarderai. Let's start over here. I, it will be, ce sera. It will be useless. Ce sera nul. It will be useless or pointless. Okay, so pratique pour des euros. Obviously, I'm not going to give you euros, unfortunately. We'll talk about those whenever we are together again. Um, but if you want to practice uh, with someone else or on your own, practice saying things out loud, that's a great idea. So, qu'est-ce que vous ferez? Remember, ferez is fair to do or to make. So, qu'est-ce que vous ferez? What will you do? J'ai trouvé mille dollars sur la rue. Ah, je le donnerai à la police. 
Bay, je le garderai. So I will give it to the police. I will keep it. Say your answer out loud. Don't feel silly talking to yourself. This is what I'm doing. Violet's staring at me. J'ai raté un examen. Qu'est-ce que vous ferez? Je parlerai au prof. Je serai triste. J'étudierai plus. J'irai aux heures de SAT. Like office hours is the last one. Je n'ai pas d'argent pour les billets de concert. Je travaillerai. Je n'irai pas. Je demanderai l'argent de mes parents. If you didn't have money for concert tickets, what will you do? Je ne peux pas sortir samedi soir. Je jouerai sur l'ordi, ordinateur. Je partirai par la fenêtre. I will go out the window. Je pleurerai. Je regarderai la télé. Je suis perdu en France. Perdu, ça veut dire lost. Je demanderai les directions en français. Zut, je ne pourrai pas parler français. Je trouverai la police. Je ferai un ami français pour m'aider. So we're using the future here. This is like a definitive plan. We could use the conditional here as well. Um, but for now, we're just practicing the future. If you are lost in France, I will ask directions in French versus I would ask directions in French. You can say you're the one in English as well. Ma vie était terrible, mais je suis en sans-abri. Sans-abri, ça veut dire homeless. Je chercherai la nourriture dans la poubelle, the trash. Je trouverai un boulot, a job. Je trouverai un membre de ma famille pour l'aide. Je dormirai dans le parc sur un banc. Kind of a sad one. What would you do? Je vais au zoo. Je verrai les singes. Je verrai les baleins, whales. Je verrai les serpents. Je verrai les tigres. Et le final, je choisis une couleur. Je choisirai verte. Je choisirai rose, noir, rouge et bleu. Okay, voila. Oop, you're probably hearing Mike. Mike. So this is the end of the future sense lesson. Um. Again, you don't have to be experts at this. Please make sure you fill in those notes and do that practice. Say it out loud. And then when we're reading Cyrano, when you see, oh, zoot. When you see that weird tense uh, in Cyrano, you will know that it's the future. And I'll point it out every once in a while as well. Please don't hesitate to send me questions on my mind or email. Uh, and until next time, à la prochaine. Bon courage.